Hello, YouTube, and welcome back in to some Let's Play Civilization 6. We can pop this guy. He's been sitting there for a while. That'll actually help us get to our aerodromes. Yeah, actually, that's pretty perfect. Boop. I think the human race, once you have tasted... Okay, so now that we have aerodromes, what are our best cities? Where do we want to build planes? 71. 57. Too many cities. Must go faster. Okay. So our cap. We'll just crank them out in the cap. <laughs> Could absolutely get a, you know, waste waste a government plaza this game. I kind of knew that it would be. Um, and I think I'm quite all right with it. Is that a smart pot spot to put you? No, I'll just do it. I'll do it there. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Modern and atomic. Bunch of coal. Can get those factories now. Specifically here. Supposed to get those way, way before this. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, sorting would be amazing. That is, there are several several things I miss from CQI, and that sorting is one of them for sure. Yeah, well, that's that's the thing though. I, they're not super happy, but think of I all of these cities have an extra amenity from our ability. So we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four amenities for free. From this, it's pretty crazy. I, I can't think of another ability in the game that gives you twenty-four amenities for basically free. All right, I want to stack trade routes here then, and I could even chop out this jungle. We don't need the adjacency here anymore. That's a broken tile. That one's fixed again. Could use some builders. I like my bombard with siege tower combo. That seems pretty next level. I don't have bazaars. Never see. It. I do have a lot of them though. I do have a lot of bazaars. <laughs> yeah, you missed a couple things, Fry Tag. Thanks, dude. What civ leader would I happy to be live under? Cleopatra. Wink. <laughs> See what I did there? No? Do you want me to explain it? I'm not going to explain it. You'll figure it out. That would be fine too. Uh, I don't know. Like who? I still didn't improve the oil. <laughs> I keep, I keep getting distracted by my dumb bits. Um, did I really not? Jesus Christ! I can't even declare war. Wait, I can declare war on you. <laughs> it's cool, guys. Don't worry about it. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. 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 Two turns till border growth. That's fine. Um, realistically, like who would I want to, like whose reign would I like to live under? I mean, not historically speaking. I think if we're just translating that to a Civ question. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. The Ottoman achievement. I actually don't know what it is. What is the Ottoman achievement, Annie? 
may seem like a stupid question, but if you conquer a city and you or them have a special district, does it stay or do they switch to yours? So if you have a special one, like like let's say I'm Peter and I conquer your holy site, that holy site turns into a lavra for me. Uh, but if you conquer my lavra, you don't get to keep it. It just turns back into a holy site. I heard of that as well. Uh, uh, I heard that as well sooner. Yeah, maybe Pedro. Pedro could be fun. I don't know. Is the Ottoman achievement just renaming a conquered city? Oh, I bet we've done that. If not, then we're silly. Because that's easy. I think I'm going to start here and go after Muscat. We have nice defensible terrain. I can start with three bombards here. Take this out real quick. <laughs> Thanks, Math. Uh, okay. Rename a city. New city. Oops. New city name. Did it. So we must have already done it. Does it have to be a capital? Oh, it's a capital? Hey, we got it. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks, you guys. Always fun to get uh, achievements. <laughs> Look at this conga line we have going on. Hello? Is this a wedding? Everybody, Kanga. I appreciate it, Annie. Thank you. Four funerals and a wedding. If I build flood berries and flip a tile that's going to drown to the city. Oh, that's a good question, Adarsh. I don't know. We should we should check that sometime. I don't know how flood berries work with uh, flipping tiles. It's a very good question. Aquarian, stop trolling me. And if you're not trolling me, I don't think I'm a Bears fan anymore. It really just happened. Oh, God. I don't think I'm a Bears fan anymore. It's the worst. So we overpay for Nick Foles. Great. Good job, Chicago. You're really... You're on the up and up, obviously. Come to the Broncos. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Yeah, it's all right. Someone's got to bring the bad news. can still shoot the messenger. <laughs> so I need to get to advanced flight. Would like drones. As a Packer fan, I approve of this move. I bet you approve of most of the Bears move, because I don't. Oh, we have balloons. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so we can redeclare here in a second. Now we have to set up... Uh, 
like these units to defend all, all of our artillery. And then we basically, yeah, modern and atomic. This guy's relevant. What are you? Medieval Renaissance. I'm going to just say no longer relevant. Probably relevant in some circumstances. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> no, I think I think the whole f the whole signing of that person of Foles means that we're screwed. Why would you why would you keep paying these people? Why? Why do they not understand how I, I, I don't know. I thought I was excited about our our GM coming over from the Saints when we got him. I'm no longer happy. Yeah, that was that guy screwing up with Trubisky. They should they should all go. They should all go. Did I circumnavigate? I'm about to. Good timing. Uh, Dido has full loyalty here. Oh no, not our capital's original continent. So yeah, so this is not coastal, so her ability doesn't apply here, Adarsh. And this is not her capital's original continent, so it doesn't apply here either. <laughs> it's all good, you guys. We're just having fun with it. Tons of oil now. Well, they kind of telegraphed that they're not going to do that if they picked up foals. My faith buying armies not yet. We're not at war, so I don't feel the need to spend more money in maintenance. Hey, that's nice. Ha ha ha, lol. As if they'll ever do that. Um Okay, so hangar, I guess. While we work on getting aluminum slash bombers. Yeah, and that's the thing that the bears don't have is any cap space, so it's kind of a joke. Like, why why keep paying overpaying for these these expired assets? Sorry to talk about people that way, but that's what they are in terms of the NFL. So next turn ish, we can declare here. I think. It may be happening with or without our consent. <laughs> Dido's the only one. <laughs> oh, poor Dido. <laughs> two turns there and two turns there. Good luck. Good luck, Dido. So, all right, before we declare war, I don't want to get smooshed by all of his stuff. Okay. 
One more turn and then we'll declare. Actually, just do the cheaper one. So Niter to Genghis, if he even has money. He, only, he doesn't have that much money. <laughs> hmm. Do you guys think we should do this deal? Seems tempting. <laughs> okay. He has uranium? Uh-oh. Wait, really? Yeah, that could be that's probably true, temporary. But I just don't I just think the reason I think that it has nothing to do with the coronavirus and everything to do with the disposition of the NFL. If that makes sense. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Annie. Exactly. I know that Fol Foles is crazy overpaid. That's why, like, why are we taking some of his expired overpaid asset? Terrible. Have I ever had the AI submit to a demand? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's do this. Easy peasy. What's the purpose? Yeah, I, I, to, to piss him off. I mean, the mechanic kind of has to be there. Oh, he's got walls here, finally. Uh-oh. Run away. That's not your encampment? How does your encampment not have walls? I don't know. I didn't wait the turn. Oh, well. Hopefully we'll be okay. What else can we do here? In anticipation. Probably not a whole lot. It's a test of time challenge. Just found this channel yesterday through YouTube. Welcome in. Uh, test of time is I've been doing a Civ 6 Deity Marathon since Civ 6 launched. Um, so we've done, we've done one in vanilla. We've done one with, uh, the rise and fall expansion and we've done a marathon with gathering storm. This is just the nomenclature for our gathering storm one. It is a deity marathon of all the different leaders that are in the game at the moment. So just kind of a fun cheeky name. That's all. Upgrade the four promo one. Where is he? This one. I don't have the resources at the moment, but I can eventually. Yeah, welcome in. Thanks for the question. All right, aluminum in three. That's pretty important for our planes. Oh, boy. The effect of the mass meat. 
Okay. These... Then I want to bring you guys up. Okay. little scared of the units here. I don't want to find myself in the situation we were in last time where we're just bleeding kind of indefinitely. This is Renaissance Industrial. Creates a bombard with one promotion. What? Swagger Puss, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Have I ever done a run through loyalty converting cities only via loyalty? You can pretty much do that, that with Eleanor. I haven't done a specific game like that. Um, I, tend to, I tend to find the setup to that to be pretty boring. Um, but yeah, if you're playing French Eleanor, it's pretty easy. You can do it. Would I prefer... Def Diplomacy fix or more sieves? A diplomacy fix would be nice. You mean like an overhaul of that victory type? I would I would pick that. That's actually pretty relevant for us. I like it. And then oil per turn with a tank. Both of these are pretty relevant. Don't really want a bunch of powered buildings. I don't see the need to grab them. All my governors like not doing anything. I mean, I guess whatever. Here, go to go to a city, Pingala. Go help, help. I don't care about the industrial zone. I'd much rather have the science here. So that's fine. Okay, so the general can bring up. Where is this general now? You should be maybe there. What is this? All right, so one extra level of diplomacy with all civilizations can tr translate into a combat bonus, uh, which is pretty darn good. Oh, nice mausoleum, actually. That's that's the best mausoleum. That's the best Petra I've ever seen the AI build. One, well, I mean, kind of one. One, two, three, four, five. Got all six. Good for you. 
That's great. That's excellent. Um, I still think this is relevant. I think I like where we're at. Ah, rip Big Ben. Yeah, I thought I was going to lose that uh, inventory. That's not great. Not great. <laughs> Loyalty problems. All right, so how do we deal with all this? He's got a frigate. Oh my god, can you not? Go after this. Very nice. Very, very nice. You have liberating. I've never done it. I always greedily kept all the cities. Does it give diplomatic victory points if you liberate? No, it doesn't. Um, there's really no reason to liberate, to be honest, unless you want that city state back in the game. And when you do liberate them, they get basically half the map in their borders. Uh, and so I don't like liberating them later on in the game anyways. I could start some tanks. 34 turns is a long time, but... Perhaps someday it'll be relevant. All right, what else am I buying? So I have army, 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 not army, not army, and then a bunch of other not armies. So I want... More artillery there, I guess. Hey, Jerezy, how you doing, dude? That's a lot of movement. Radio is the theater of the mind. Television. Yeah, Valletta's great. Mindless. Purple. So, getting a builder, I can get that aluminum online next turn. Here's one we're already getting. Here's another one I need to get online under the volcano. And, oh, double under the volcano. Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Go there first to heal. Another one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Starting to come together. <laughs> Sorry, BSG Boomer. <laughs> yeah, I know, Adarsh. 
I'm terrible. Now there's a, there's a situation right there where we could liberate, but we don't really want to. Um, sure. Uh oh, Mythrock, that's not great. Yeah, that's uh, holy cow, bud. Sending sending good vibes your way, positivity and good vibes your way, my friend. That's uh, that's no bueno. I don't mean to undercut it by saying that, but yikes. If you need anything, if you need a a friend, I got you. All right, I'm hoping that this frigate doesn't actually kill me. Or any of my units. Okay. Hello, Krista. How goes it? Rip that frigate. Don't want that to happen. That's a good buffer. Gonna buy them a merge unit. <laughs> that stinks, OG. Um, maybe try to win a different victory type against him or play another strong science of like uh, Japan. What's most important to get from trade routes early late game? Generally speaking, you want to you want to focus money with them, but they can also be very, very valuable as like an early internal trade route to help a city grow or produce better or just get up into like workable shape. Yeah, he's down about 500 military score already, which is nice. Scotland's okay. They're not my favorite. Um, they can be good, but you tend to want a smaller empire with them, which doesn't really play into what Civ 6 wants you to do. I would prefer Japan in that situation. Because you get the option of half price encampments, giving you military option. And then you can also get insane campuses. I want to come up here. What does religion look like for this game? It's a good question. Definitely one of the ways we could sneakily lose. But I think we're okay. How many civs have I killed so far? Uh, this is going to be my uh, fourth. And then uh, Spain will be my fifth. Can't sell any of my aluminum. There they are. Okay, okay. I did not, Annie. I'm not seeing that. Cool, did that.
Okay. Well, tell them that. Tell your friend that. Just say, hey, play somebody else. If they're really your friend, they'll understand. Still doesn't work? That's a bummer. All right, um, so we're getting close to what? Yeah, I just maybe wouldn't tell him that you don't want to play. <laughs> I think that's a fair thing to say. Uh, well, yeah, why am I going here? I guess because I was going for drones, but I actually want to be at advanced flight. I don't think I need the fighters still. See what that does. I think I'll get a second aerodrome. Doesn't really matter where it goes. Lots of good armies going on. Let's see. We're at uh, we we have a little bit of flexibility. So w once again, let's take inventory. Actually, could use an infantry here. An artillery there. Another infantry there. Yeah, it's lame, Sim. S slim. Lame. OG, I'll come play with you and your friend, and I'll beat up your friend. How's that sound? <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. I did, Slim, yeah. <laughs> Just trying to help out, you know? Wow, he's down to a thousand. Nice. So we uh, we definitely won, uh, or we're winning rather. T took down half his army already. How viable is it to beat science with culture? Very, especially if he doesn't know how to defend against culture. All right. Um, I guess these guys are pretty healthy now. Is Dido gone? Dido's gone. Best culture sieve. Uh, Persia is quite good and flexible. But yeah, you can check out my ranks there. Persia, Greece. Yeah, Congo's a good one. Christina's amazing, yeah. 
Russia for sure if you if you learn them. Let's get into the fray. Three turns on this. Three turn builders, fine. Persia was one with zero theater squares here. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> that is true. That is a fact. Yeah, that's a fun one. I enjoy that as well. I don't want to talk about it, Mad Hatter. It's so bad. It's such a waste of money. So bad. Still don't want Brady. That's correct. It's my favorite wonder as far as aesthetics. That's an interesting question. As far as aesthetics, huh? St. Basil's is pretty beautiful. I mean, since Scott has penguins. Machu's always gorgeous. I also really just want to go to Machu Picchu, so I'm a little biased with that one. Yeah, pyramids are always cl classic. It's always a good one. Don't kill it. Oh, I knew you were going to. Or can you change the colors of civilization? Uh, in the when you when you select the game, you can choose your own jersey. Uh, in the advanced details. Yeah, no worries, man. We welcome all questions here, so no worries. Don't. Mommy. Don't be shy about it. And welcome in. Uh, is it Gerg Gergendam? Dan Dan Dana Dana Dam? <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I tried. Welcome, welcome. And yeah, if you have questions, please don't be shy about it.
It's a rhino man in Turkish. Awesome. <laughs> kind of bizarre. I love it. It's great. <laughs> What's up, A. Sadler? Yeah, yeah, we went from three cities to more than three cities. That's for sure. Slightly more, anyhow. There come more units out. What's the biggest difference between Civ 5 and Civ 6? Almost bought the whole pack when it was on sale a couple days, but still enjoying Civ 5. Biggest difference is um, districts and wonders go on tiles. So your city d needs to pay attention to more than just like, oh, these are good tiles that I want to work in the long run. Um, and then functionally, the biggest difference, I think, is the fact that uh, Civ 5 tends to reward you for playing tall, only having like three, four cities. Uh, and in Civ 5, you don't get rewarded for that. In fact, you get... Uh, you get pretty punished. The, the wider you go in Civ 6, the better. The more cities, the better. How do I want to do this? Which Civ do I recommend if you want to try Culture Victory? Try uh, Pericles. He's really good. Japan also. Christina, if you have her. All right. Another fascism game. I don't really want builders. Probably okay. You, oh, you're on my stuff. Why are you on my stuff? And Benno and Rash, welcome in, you guys. Thank you so much for the follows. Getting so close to 10,000. It's crazy. It's, it's almost like a little too early to be even paying attention to it, but I can't help it. I'm sorry. I'm very excited. I don't think we need this, right? Not really now. <laughs> Mohenjo, Mohenjo really is my uh, my Waterloo. That's for sure. Really. Aluminum. Yeah, I need to do that, don't I? Good call. I wonder where he's going. Okay, 
Remember that triple D-O-W seems like a long time ago? It does seem like a long time ago. All right. Speaking of a long time ago, this video has been going on plenty long. We're making we're making a dent. We took him down. We've taken him down a peg or two. Probably two. Probably exactly two pegs. Uh, we hope to take him down the further remaining pegs. When we come back in the next one, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. See you then.